Oh man, work was crazy today. I ate crazy today. Ugh, I felt gross. Should probably go to the gym. <gasps> oh, you wanna go to the gym? Okay, great, we still have time. Okay, all you need to do is put your sneakers on, grab some water and throw your hair in a ponytail and that's it, and we can make it. We, still, we can do this, we can do this. Oh, we can still make that class, hurry, hurry, hurry. The gym, what are you, crazy? After the day we've had, we're not going to the gym. Take your shoes off, sit on the couch. You know the drill. Come on, put your feet up, pour a glass of wine. <gasps> Don't listen to her. <sighs> listen, you know better. You said we were gonna go to the gym when you went through the drive-thru today for lunch. We have to do this, you know this. We wanna lose weight. Stop making excuses, let's go. So what if we had a cheeseburger and fries? You know what? They were cheap, they were fast, and they were delicious. Tell you what, if you stay home, you order pizza, we'll go to the gym twice as long tomorrow. <gasps> no! How many times are we going to go through this? You know if you eat that, you're going to feel guilty. You're going to feel embarrassed. You're going to feel gross. You're going to sit on the couch. Oh, she's so annoying. You're going to step on the scale tomorrow, and you're going to see that you gained weight, and we're trying to lose weight. Stop listening to her. She's lying to you. How many times are we going to do this? Yeah, you feel bad, but you only feel bad for a second. Besides, I know how to make it feel better. Come on, you're better than this. Come on, this is just the way it is. We're, we're never gonna lose the weight. Oh, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I was gonna go to the gym, but after the day I've had and I'm so tired, my favorite show's on tonight and I don't, I don't have time. So I'll just go twice as long tomorrow. Right? Hi, it's Christina here. I really hope you enjoyed that video. It's really trying to showcase how the mind can trick us into justifying the habits that cause the weight gain in the first place and makes excuses like we're too busy, we're too tired, we've had a long day, we can't, we shouldn't, and all of that. And really, it's just keeping us stuck. So we all know how to eat and exercise. Like, everybody knows that. If you want to lose weight or maintain your weight, you have to eat and exercise to keep it off. But if you don't know how to silence that little devil inside your head, that little voice, put down the fork, put on your sneakers, and go, it'll be so much more difficult to take the weight off and keep it off when you constantly self-sabotage yourself. So that's all why I always say you have to get your mind right to get and keep your body tight. So my name is Christina Carlisle. I am your biggest cheerleader. I want you to be as successful as possible to get off of the diet and exercise roller coaster where we gain and lose the same 10, 20, 100 pounds over and over and over again. And we can do this by getting our minds right. So if you subscribe, You'll be able to get these tips that I post on a regular basis of how to overcome the voice, educational, inspirational, motivational ways where you too can take the weight off and keep it off forever. So if you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you have any comments or need any help, any suggestions, if you have any specific questions regarding your weight loss journey, goals you want to accomplish, let me know because helping you helps me and I'm your biggest cheerleader. I want you to be successful. So I need help too, learning what you want and I'll make it. Ask and you shall receive. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful day and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.